Okay, this is another beginner's tutorial that might get me made fun of, but anything that takes me all day to figure out and not be able to find on YouTube or anywhere else, if it's that frustrating for me, I'm gonna make a tutorial about it. Um, this one's about being able to launch, spawn, or recover your first person, pers person perspective uh, to a certain location at a certain time. I couldn't find out any way to do it um, except for C. Uh, we're going to do it in Playmaker. Um, so here's my scene. Um, this is actually the game view. Every time I do something, I want to be able to jump back to this view, kind of like Groundhog Day. And in my FSM, I just have a listener right now for key up. I want to trigger this test event to launch me back here. But if we go to our first person controller and I write down all these numbers, and the current rotation, which is 000, zero and I'm going to paste them into my um, state. So if I click the H button using key up, I want to do something. So I'm just going to go into lock my FSM, click on the first person controller, the transform. It's going to drag it into here. I'm going to set a property. I'm going to set its local position as a vector three and those numbers were and I'm also going to do its rotation okay that looks right right let's go running around Hit the H key. Something flashed. Didn't do anything. So, go over to here. This doesn't feel right every frame, but let's just click it anyway. I'm just going to make you go through my painful process of discovery. So, run around. Hit H. Okay, so we're back here. Can't move. We're stuck. It kind of stinks. So that's not right. So in a nutshell, um, all the articles I could find referencing how to do this is basically, um, it's done in C sharp. So the C sharp thing basically disables the uh, first person con controller script, lets you, then you set the variables and then jump back out. So um, I did the same thing in Playmaker. So I created two new states. And they basically turn off. They actually basically turn off this first person controller C sharp script. So to lock that, first person controller. Here's the script. Drag it into here. Set the property. The property is enabled, and we're going to disable it so it's unchecked. And we're going to basically say the same thing and re-enable it. This guy. Okay. But this won't work either. Because... Same deal. H did it, but now we're frozen. So there's something, it takes some time for the script to actually uh, disable and do its cleanup when you re-enable it. So if you simply go to here, our first state where we actually disable the controller, we do a wait. Second, that's fine. And then one more time here, we're gonna add another wait for a second. Now everything should work fine. Okay, so we list for the H key, go to the first state, we disable the controller, wait a second. Then we set our coordinates, set our rotation, wait another second. And then we re-enable the jobby. I don't know what the exact timing is. You could probably make it a tenth of a second, I'm not sure, but however long it takes that uh, script to free up. Now I'm going to go and hit the H key. Something happened, we end up right back at home. 
And that is it. Hopefully this uh, helps you in whatever you're doing. It certainly got me doing whatever I needed to do. I was stuck. I couldn't find another way to do it. So hope this helps. Okay, thanks.